0, y is equal to 0. And finally, you write your equation down again. It's always nice to do your work step by step. Mine is 2 times. This time the number is 1. So you put on 1 here. Now minus 2 times 1. If you know your integer rules, good. It is minus 2. If you don't know your integer rules, you will go back and use a calculator. And so your ordered pair here is x is 1, x is 1, and you got the answer for y, y is minus 2. So your ordered pair is x is 1, y is minus 2. Now sometimes some teachers will ask you to build a table of ordered pairs. If they tell you a table of ordered pairs, all you do is then you just draw a little box after that like this so that's a table that table that's a table I know you eat food on the table well that's another type of table this is also a table so there's your x so you took x what minus 1 then you took x is 0 then you took x is 1 and what was the answer here for minus 1? The answer for minus 1 was 2. What was the answer for 0? It was 0. What was the answer for 1? It was minus 2. So this is called a table of values. So sometimes the teacher may say, find the ordered pairs in a table form. Well, you still have to do that work. And in the end, you'll just write your answer like this in a table form. This is in the form of a table. All right. I'm still going to do another example now. It is zero. And suppose you said x is one. And suppose you said x is two. So you chose those numbers. Remember, it's your right. You can choose any numbers you like. You can choose even negative numbers. So now you have to substitute. So you write y is equal to x plus 1. Now you must put that number where there is x. So x is here. So it will be 0 plus 1. And 0 plus 1 gives you 1. So your first ordered pair is... 0, 1. That's your x. That's your y. Let's do the next example. y is equal to x plus 1. This time x is 1. So where there is x, you must write 1 plus that 1 there. 1 plus 1, 2. So your ordered pair will be x is 1. And y is 2. y is 2. So your ordered pair is x, y, 1, 2. And finally, y is equal to x plus 1. So y is equal to 2 plus 1, which is 3. So your ordered pair finally will be x was 2 y is 3 and that's your x, x was 2 and you have the answer. So that's how we find ordered pairs. So now we're dealing with straight line graphs. So that's why I write SL here. Exercise 1, straight line, exercise 1. Uh, find at least three ordered pairs for the following. Number one, 
y is equal to 4x. Number 2, y is equal to minus 3x. And number 3, y is equal to x plus 2. And number 4, y is equal to minus x plus 2. Well, try those four examples. Find the ordered pairs in each case, at least three ordered pairs for each one. And once you got that step correct, we can start drawing the graphs. All right, have some fun. So let's find the answers for number one. Right, let's get all this out of the way first. Sorry about that. Okay, so number one, we're now giving you the solutions. to straight line graphs exercise one okay number one was y is equal to 4x and let's say you chose x equal to 0 x equal to 1 x equal to 2 I should have told you to choose these numbers so the marking became easy well if you took this one, then y is equal to 4x, that's your question. That is equal to 4 times 0, which gives you 4 times 0 is 0. So your first ordered pair is 0, 0. Now, second one, y is equal to 4x, that's your question. Now you are substituting, you are putting the x, that's 1, you're putting it in there. Then you have to multiply, 4 times 1 is 4. So your second ordered pair is 1, 4. Remember this is x, that's y. This is x, that's y. And finally y is equal to 4x. And there's your 4. And this time x is 2. So 4 twos, 8. And finally, your ordered pair will be uh, x is 2, y is 8. And if you had to write all these answers in a table form, this is what it will look like. I didn't ask you to do that, but if you want to do it, you had 0, 1, 2, and your answers were 0, 4 and 8. So that's your answer in a table form. But that's your answer in ordered pairs. All right, I hope you got that right. Let's say you chose x is minus 1. And then you chose x is 0. And then you chose x to be 1. And somebody may have chosen x to be 2. Let's see what happens. If I do this one, y is equal to minus 3x, write the question down, minus 3 times. x is minus 1. x is minus 1. Now minus times minus gives you plus. 3 ones, 3. So your first ordered pair is minus 1, 3. Second one, y is equal to 3x, 3 times, put the 0 in here. It's very important to write a bracket like this first and then put the number in. You'll see later on, as we go along, why it is a very good habit to do that. So if I'm putting for x, I put a bracket first, then I write the 0 there. And now you see the bracket tells me clearly that I must multiply. 3 times 0, 0. So your ordered pair here is 0 and 0. x is 0, y is 0. Right, let's go to the third one. y is equal to 3x, 3 times. We're putting a number here. The number is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. So your ordered pair is 1. Sorry, mistake here. This is supposed to be minus. This is supposed to be Minus. Well, minus 3 times 0 is still 0. 
But this one, we've got to be careful now. Sorry for that, sorry for that, sorry for that. There's your question minus 3x. Right. Now, there's your minus 3, and now we've got to put a number in here. It's going to put in 1. Now, minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. So this ordered pair is 1 minus 3. Right. So be careful of the signs. And finally, if you had the, the last one, if you chose 2, y is equal to minus 3x. That's minus 3 times 2. Now, a minus times a plus gives you a minus. 3 times 2 gives you 6. And your final answer is 2 minus 6. There's your x and there's your y. All right, you should be able to find these ordered pairs. The more examples you do, the stronger you get. Right, let's say you said, well, let x be 0, let x be 1, let x be 2. Fine. So, so those three numbers you chose, it's your right. You can choose any number you like. If you wanted to choose minus 2, minus 1 and 0, fine. Choice is yours. Now, to find the answer, y is equal to x plus 2. Where there is x, you're going to write 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. So your first order pair is 0 and 2. y is equal to x plus 2. You see, I've got only 1 over here, so I can just write the answer straight. But if you tell me, no, no, you must put the bracket because you told about bracket before, I'll write it like that. Then you put your 1 inside. Then plus 1 is understood. 1 times 1 is 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2, 3. So your ordered pay here is 1, 3. Right, let's move on to the last one. Y is equal to x plus 2. So in case you tell me, no, oh, where are we putting muscle bracket? Very good. It's a good habit. So we put the 2 inside this bracket. 1 is under. Stood, 1 times 2 is 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2, 4. So your final order pay here is 2, 4. I hope you got all that right. Right, you got number 4, y is equal to minus x plus 2. Let's say you said let x be minus 1. You see, I'm choosing a negative number so that we, we're trying everything, negative, 0 and positive. Let's say you told x is 0 and say the other number will be x is equal to 1. Okay, so remember these are your rights. You can choose any number you like unless the teacher tells you use the numbers I'm giving you. No numbers were given here. So I can choose any number I like. So y is equal to minus x plus now there's the minus, and I'm going to put in a number here, and then there's going to be plus 2. So the number is minus 1. So now you can see why it is so important to write the bracket. Now minus times minus is plus, and 1 that is understood. 1 times 1 is 1 plus that 2 there, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So your order pair here is minus 1, 3. That's your x and that's your y. Let's do the next one. y is equal to minus x plus 2. There's your minus 1 into the bracket plus 2. This time we are fitting in in 0. See it's coming from there, 0. So, minus 1 times 0 is 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. So the ordered pair here is x is 0, y is 2. x is 0, y is 2. And the last one, finally, y is equal to minus x plus 2. There's your minus 1. There's your place for the x plus 2. Now x is 1, so you put the 1 in here. 
So minus 1 times 1 gives you minus 1 plus 2. Now be careful. You owe 1 and you have 2. Therefore, you'll end up having 1. Or if you don't know your rules, just plug that into the calculator like that in a scientific calculator and you'll get your answer. So your final answer here is 1, 1. X is 1, Y is 1. Alright, so that brings us to the end of exercise 1. Right, now what I'm doing is I'm giving you an example where you have to find ordered pairs and the equation contains a fraction. Say the question is y is equal to 2 third x plus 1. Now this equation contains a fraction. And you want to find the ordered pair. Well, first let's write it nicely. That's really 2x over 3 plus 1. Now, I know you got your rights and you can choose any number you like. But in an example like this where you got a denominator, our advice to you is that you must let x be, you must look at the denominator. What is the denominator? It's 3. So let x be minus 3, let x be 0, and let x be 3. So that things work out nicely for you. You see? You've got one of the fractions there. The denominator is 3 here. Therefore, you must choose minus 3, 0, and plus 3, so that your working becomes easy. Now you'll watch and see what happens. You see, you've got y is equal to 2x over 3, time, uh, sorry, plus 1. So it's 2 times something over 3 plus 1. So what are we choosing here? Minus 3. So the number here is minus 3. Now 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 over 3 plus 1. Now minus 6 over 3 will give you minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1 gives you minus 1. So finally your ordered pair is minus 3 minus 1. You see by choosing that minus 3 you didn't end up with any fractions, you end up with nice numbers and you can work easily. Right, when x is 0, no problem, that will be, that's your question, 2x over 3 plus 1. So it will be 2 times something plus 1 all over 3. And here we're going to put 0. Now 2 times 0 is 0 over 3 plus 1. Now 0 over 3 is 0. 0 divided by any number. 0 divided by any number is 0. So 0 divided by 3 is 0. 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. So your final ordered pair is x is 0 and y is 1. So that's your final ordered pair here in the middle. Right, so let's move on. So here you got the question y is equal to 2x over 3 plus 1. And then you'll say, well, that's 2 times some number all over 3 plus 1. Now x is 3, so I'll write the 3 down here. x is 3. There's the 3. Now, 2 3's, 6. 6 over 3 plus 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 plus 1. And the final answer is 3. So you see, by choosing minus 3 and 3, you're not going to end up with fractions and you will enjoy working it out. So your ordered pair is 3 and your final answer here is also 3. So the ordered pair is 3, 3. Alright, so that's how you do an example with fractions. So what I'll do, I'll give you an example now with a fraction in it and ask you to work it out. Here's your two examples. Number one, y is equal to 2 over 5x plus 2. Number two, y is equal to minus 3 over 7x plus 1. 
Remember, use your rights. Look at the denominator and choose your audit pairs wisely so that you end up with some nice round numbers and it will be easy to draw the graph. All right, try them. All right, now I didn't tell you stop the DVD. So if you are still looking at this, stop the DVD, work it out and come back and then I will mark them for you. All right, let's find the answer for this one. So, you are a wise cat now. You're seeing five here. Therefore, you're saying, well, let x be minus five. Let x be zero. And let x be five. So, your question is, y is equal to two, Right, let's write the question now. 2 over 5x. Now you see this x can be written on the, on the top here. 2 times x, 2x, 2x over 5 plus 2. That's 2 times something all over 5 plus 2. Now we have chosen x to be minus 5. So we're taking that minus 5 there and we're putting it in here. We're putting it in there. Now, 2 times minus 5 gives you minus 10 over 5 plus 2. Now, minus 10 over 5 gives you minus 2 plus 2. Now, minus 2 plus 2 gives you 0. So, your audit pay here, x was minus 5 and y is 0. Now, if you're watching these DVDs and I do make a mistake some way, Please send an email to me and tell me that there's a mistake on this section and then I will try and correct them for you. Right, let's look at this one. Y is equal to 2x over 5 plus 2. So y is equal to 2 times something over 5 plus 2. Now the something is 0. So we're putting the 0 in. So. 2 times 0 is 0, 0 over 5 plus 2. Now, 0 divided by any number is 0. And finally, your answer is 0 plus 2, 2. So your ordered pair is 0, x is 0, and y is 2. Right, so that finishes the second part. Now we come to the third part. Y is equal to 2x over 5 plus 2. 2 times something all over 5 plus 2. Right. This time we are putting in 5. So there's the 5. 2 5s, 10. 10 over 5 plus 2. 10 over 5, 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 plus 2, answer is 4. So your audit pay is x is 5 and y is 4. Alright, so you must be able to handle fractions. Alright, so there was number 2, y is equal to minus 3 over 7x plus 1. So first you write it down nicely, that's minus 3x over 7 plus 1. And then you look at the denominator, it is 7. Therefore, you're going to choose x is equal to minus 7 x is equal to 0, x is equal to 7. You can choose any number you like, but these numbers will help us to get nice, neat answers. So, minus 3, sorry, 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 y is equal to minus 3, x over 7 plus 1. That's your question. y is equal to minus 3 times some number over 7 plus 1. So the first time we are putting minus 7. Now be careful. Minus 3 times minus 7 will give you plus 21. Over 7 plus 1. Now 21 over 7 is 3. 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 gives you 4. So your audit pay here is minus 7, 4. Now let's move on to the second example, y is equal to minus 3x over 7 plus 1. 
minus 3 times some number over 7 plus 1. Now, in the second step here, hey, the number we're putting in is 0. So there's 0. Minus 3 times 0 is 0. 0 over 7 plus 1. 0 divided by 7 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Final answer. X is 0. Y is 1. See, we don't write Y, Y, Y all the time. Y is 1. I can really write it in the last step if I like. If I like. I don't have to write it. And Y is 1. And finally, y is equal to 3x over 7 plus 1, 3 times some number all over 7 plus 1. Well, x is 7, so we're putting in 7 there. 3 times 7, 21 over 7 plus 1. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 3 plus 1, 4. So, finally, y is 4. x is 7. y is 4. So that's how you find ordered pairs. And you must be able to work it out from the easiest example to an example that contains fractions. Alright, I think we are now ready to draw graphs. So, in the next lesson now, we're going to start moving to draw graphs. So, if you were studying this, you should be starting in one lesson from the beginning where I started this morning finding ordered pairs till the end of exercise 2, then stop, then take a break. And if you want to continue learning, please take a one hour break or two hour break and then come back. Don't try to learn everything one day. Learn these things in bit by bit. So if you like, we can call this uh, lesson 1 on drawing straight line graphs. Okay, we shall end there. Hi there, welcome back. All right, now let's call this lesson two. Let's call this lesson two. Like I was telling you earlier on, don't try to learn everything one day. So now it's lesson two. Maybe you're learning it on the second day, or maybe you're learning it after you had about a two hour break. Now the question is draw y is equal to 3x. So we want you to draw this graph y is equal to 3x. So you know, oh, first thing I'm going to make ordered pairs. So you'll say, right, x b, let x be 0, let x be 1, let x be, sorry about that, let x be 2. So if you take y is equal to 3x, that will be 3 times 0, that will be 0. So your first ordered pair is 0, 0. Then if you take the next one, y is equal to 3x, and you're now using x is equal to 1, then y is equal to 3 times 1, which is 3. So your second ordered pair is 1 and 3. And then your third ordered pair, I hope you can read here, right, will be y is equal to 3x and you're using x equal to 2. And that gives you 3 times 2, 6. So your third ordered pair is 2, 6. So you've got three ordered pairs now. You've got, sorry, 0, 0, 1, 3 and 2. 6. So now you can draw the graph. Now let's go to the graph paper. In the middle here you got 0. So there you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
on this side we got minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And down here we got minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. Right. Now your first ordered pair is 0, 0. That means you must go to the graph page there and you must plot 0, 0. You must plot 0, 0. Right, so before we start plotting the points, let's look at the ordered pairs again. You'll see the first ordered pair is 0, 0, and the second one was 1, 3, and your third one is 2, 6. Okay, so your three ordered pairs are 0, 0, 1, 3, and 2, 6. And so we move on to the graph page, and we are going to learn to draw the graph. So your first ordered pair was 0, 0. So what I will do, let me just write it down here. Your ordered pair is 0, 0. Alright, I hope you can see that. Okay. Now, you want to plot 0, 0 here on the graph page. Well, what you must do, you must always look for x first. So, x is 0, it's there. And y is 0, it is also there. So, your dots come there. So, both your dots are going to come there. Let me use another color. So, uh, let's use black. So, your first dot is coming here. That's what 0, 0 is. Then your second ordered pair was 1, 3. That was your second ordered pair. So what you must do, go and look for 1 first. I look for 1 there. And then that 3 is telling me go up 3 till you find 3. So that's your second ordered pair. I'll repeat that. See this ordered pair is 1, 3. So first find 1. Don't put a dot or anything there, just find it. Then look at Y. If y is positive, move up. If y is negative, move down. But in this case, y is positive. Therefore, from 1, I move up till I find 3. So there's my second ordered pair. And my third ordered pair was 2, 6. So my third ordered pair was 2, 6. Now, you know where these ordered pairs are coming? They're coming from this working here, right? Okay. My third ordered pair was 2, 6. That means find 2. The 8 is there first. On the x-axis, find 2. And then go up till you find 6. So, it'll be there. Right? Watch again. 2, 6. Find 2. And then because it's plus 6, means go up till you find 6. So, it's over there. So this dot, there's two, and then you go up six, and you put it there. So you got one, two, three dots. And then what you do, you take your ruler, and you join the three dots. And if all your calculations are correct, the dots will make a straight line. All right. So now, let's join these three points. Let me get a longer ruler. Sorry about that noise. But let's get a longer ruler. So there's a longer ruler. And you place your ruler there like that. And you join the three points. Like that. Right. And you put an arrowhead on this side. You put an arrowhead on that side. And you label it Y is equal to 3X. So that is how you draw a graph. Plot the points, one, two, three. We finish plot them, and then use a ruler and join them, and there you have your straight line graph. So we have drawn the first graph. All right, I'm gonna use the same page now and draw the next graph. All right, so your first ordered pair is zero, zero. Well, by now you know that 0, 0 is right here. And you know this point here is called the origin. O-R-I-G-I-N. So, 0, 0 is always at the origin. So, there's my first plot. 
Right, I plotted that. P, we talk about P L O T T E D. I plotted it. Now, next one is 1 minus 3. So, first I must find 1. There's 1 there. Well, it's rubbed out a little bit. There's 1 there. 1. And then if this is minus, then I must go down. So, from 1, I must go down to minus 3. So, there's my second ordered pair. There's my first one. There's my second one. And the third one, right, let's just continue. That's minus 3. That's minus 4. Minus 5. That's minus 6. Now, let's just see if you can see all that on the screen. Yes, you can. All right. Now, the next ordered pair is 2 minus 6. So, you look for 2 first. 2 minus 6. So you look for 2 and then it goes down to minus 6. You see, go and stop there. I'll repeat. 2 minus 6. There's your 2 and there's your minus 6. So you put your dot there. So we've got a dot here, we've got a dot here, and we've got a dot here. Then we take our ruler and we join it and we get our next graph. So our next graph, there's your three dots. Join them there like that. Okay. And you put an arrowhead on the top there, put an arrowhead down here, and label it this is y is equal to minus 3x. So that is how we draw graphs. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to draw. No, I won't draw another one. I'm going to make you draw now two graphs like this and then I'll move on to the next type of example. All right, so sit back and relax and then I'm going to give you a little exercise to do and when you do that, thereafter we'll move on to the next example. Exercise three. Now I'm going to be very kind to you. I'm giving you the equation. Let's say the equation is y is equal to 2x. And I'm giving you the ordered pairs too. The ordered pair is 0, 0, 1, 2, and 2, 4. So I want you to draw this graph. Then I want you to do number 2. Number 2, y is equal to minus 2x. And I'm giving you the ordered pairs too. Now you'll be my friend, eh? because I'm giving you all the ordered pairs. You don't have to do too much of work. But that is how you learn. You learn by doing things step by step. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I've got example one and I've got example two, and I've given you the ordered pairs also. So all you have to do is just draw the just draw the graph. There's one, there's two, just draw the graph. Alright, so you take a blank sheet of paper like that, graph paper. Plot these points and draw the graph. Obviously, you have to put the DVD off, take some time, draw it, and then come back and I will draw the graph for you so that you can see whether you got it right or wrong. All right. So in number one, the ordered pairs are 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4. And the equation is y is equal to 2x. In number 2, the equation is y is equal to minus 2x and the ordered pairs are 0, 0, 1 minus 2 and 2 minus 4. Alright, draw the graphs. You can use the same page, one page, draw both the graphs on one page and then I'll supply the answer to you and you can see if you've got the graphs correct. The first ordered pair here is 0. 0. So by now you know that 0, 0 is at the origin. This place here is called the origin. Right in the middle here is called the origin. So that is called the origin. So that's where the first order pay is 0, 0. Next one is 1, 2. So I must look for 1 and then go up 2. So it goes up there. 
See, I look for one. Don't do anything, just look for one. And then the Y is two, so you must go up straight in line here, straight in line here to two. And then your third ordered pair is two, four. So look for two. Don't write anything, nothing there. Just look for two. And then you go up that line, up that line till four. Let's do an action replay. Two, four. Look for two. Then straight up that same line there. Straight up till four. And put a dot there. So there we are. We have our three dots. And then we look for our ruler. And we join these three points. Right. We join them. So there they are. Join them so that they go beyond it. You see, go there like that. Come down here this way. So you have drawn the graph of y is equal to 2x. Okay. Now I'll just do the other one in red so that we can see the difference. Okay. Now in the next one, your first ordered pair is 0, 0. So you know 0, 0 is at the origin. So your first ordered pair comes here, 0, 0. Your next ordered pair is 1 minus 2. There's 1, but it goes down, minus 2, you see. 1 minus 2, so it must go down from there to minus 2. Straight in line over there. So the point is here. There's your 1, then you go straight down to minus 2. Straight in line with the 1. Next ordered pair, 2 minus 4. So go look for 2, I found 2, and then go straight down there to minus 4 because the ordered pair is 2 minus 4. Now you can see your three dots or three points. Take your ruler and join them. So I take my ruler, place it, and join the three dots. And let the line go right from top, go right down this way. And if you've done an accurate job, you'll find your line goes through those three points and label your graph y is equal to minus 2x. All right, I hope you're having some fun there plotting some points and getting your straight line graphs drawn. In the next lesson now, or in the next part, we're going to move one step further. All right, so take a small break now. Take a small break for about five minutes and then come back and then we will do the next part. We're still drawing graphs. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you the audit pairs. In the next uh, two questions, I'm going to give you the audit pairs. You just use the audit pairs, draw the graph. Then we'll move on to the third exercise or the fourth exercise, where you get the equation, find the audit pair, then draw the graph. All right, just go and relax for five minutes. Switch off the DV, have some fun, drink some cold rinse or whatever it is, eat a fruit and then come back. All right, so you're back from your break and I'm going to call this number three now. I'm giving you the equation y is equal to, we have done this example before, x plus two. So you got the workings for this already and your audit pairs here are zero, two, one, three, and two, four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to try to draw this. You try to draw it and then after that I'm going to uh, do it for you. All right, go ahead and try it because the method is exactly the same just like how you did number one and two. You're going to do this. All right, so have some fun. So your ordered pairs for number 3 are 0, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 4. And the equation of your graph is y is equal to x plus 2. Right, so let me help you now. First plot 0, 2. Right, good. 
Well, let's do it step by step. I said first plot 0, 2. So if you're plotting 0, 2, you would have went to 0. There's 0 here. And then 2 up. So that's where your dot goes, you see. You went to 0. You didn't do anything. You just went there. Because that's x. You could just find x and then 2 up. So there's your first dot here. Next, your audit pair is 1, 3. So you find 1. Right? And then you must go up to... Three. So there is one, and you go up to three. Then your next ordered pair is two, four. So you find two, there is two, and then because it's four, you must go up, you must go up to four. So now you can see your three ordered pairs are here. One, two, three. Take your ruler and join them, and you'll have your graph. So this is x plus 2. Right, so there it's there. Place your ruler. Draw the graph. And that's your graph for y is equal to x plus 2. Alright, let me give you number 3 to do. Now, number three, you have done before. Let me just write it on the board for you. You've done the calculations. You found the audit paper for number three. And you can do it on the same graph. Okay? So, number three, y is equal to minus x plus two. Uh, you now, this would be number four. y is equal to minus x plus 2. And here your ordered pairs are 0, 2. Um, maybe use minus 1. Let's use minus 1. Then it'll be 3. And let's say we used 1. If you used 1, it'll be 1 and 1. All right. Use these three ordered pairs to draw this graph. y is equal to minus x plus 2. Right, that's correct. Minus 1 will give you 3, that's correct. 1 plus 2 will give you that, that's correct. Right, try them. Draw that graph. All right, you should have finished by now. So your first audit pair is 0, 2. So you look for 0, and then you move two units up. You come back to this point. So your first audit pair is here. Yeah. Your next audit pair is minus 1, 3. So you look for minus 1 first. You look for minus 1 first, and then you go 3 up. So you're going up there. Action replay, minus 1, 3. There's your minus 1. Because it is plus 3, I must go up. And how many units? 3. So minus 1, it goes up there. So you can see that this is minus 1, 3. You can see. And the next ordered pair is 1, 1. So there's 1. And then I must go up 1. So that's 1. And that's... Sorry. So there's a dot there. 